All right, let me pull out a little bit further. There you go. Okay. <coughs> this is part of the fantasy um, art crawl. And this is, uh, she is an Elvidge, El Elvin homage to um, Mux, or Moxa. Alphonse Moxa. Actually, if you read his name, it looks like Mucha, but his name is Moxa. He was a, he's from Prague. He studied in France and all kinds of fun things. He was uh, basically the, one of the founders of the Art Nouveau um, movement. And so we're kind of doing an homage, which means that we're kind of doing it in the style of, but we're putting our own twist on it. First thing I bought for this project is a uh, System 3 flesh tint. It's not something I normally use. Usually I will personally mix everything, and but for this I thought I needed just I, I went ahead and brought a, a premix. Now, some of the problems with a premix is they can all, quite often can be flat. And that's not always a happy thing. We don't like flat things. We like them to be vibrant. And I have some yellow ochre, some mast, or artist slop yellow ochre. And I'm going to start the background with that. There we go. And I, oftentimes I, I will tell you not to do this. I do this because if I screw it up, I can fix it. I've been painting long enough that I know how to fix this. Okay, I want this to be pretty thin. I want to be able to see my black lines through it. And... I want this to really shine. Try not to get her too much. And that flower. Now this, I bought a metallic folk art paint. And this one is, it's bronze. I liked that better than the gold. I have some gold leaf, but you know, I just really didn't like how it just took over. Gold leaf has a tendency to be too, I don't know, flashy, because it's gold. <laughs> so, let me, let me wipe my brush, because... This is, I forgot to say what size this is, because this is not my usual. This isn't the uh, 18 by 24. This is much smaller. This is a, oh, sorry. Um, ba 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 ba. Where the hay is it? Should tell you. Uh, 12 by 16, which is a little smaller than I'm used to working with, but we like it. Okay, now that's pretty. It glows, it's, it has some character. Now we can move on to her. As, as I said, I bought some uh, flesh tint. We're going to see how this works. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a fan of it or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, I'm going to keep my brush wet. I'm going to go kind of really light with this. I'm not used to it. So I'm just tinting my picture here.
Uh, I'm not sure I like it. Because what it does seem to be doing is picking up on all the uh, kind of scribbles I did with the... Uh, I use paint pens to do her face. And it's really picking up on the scribble. So let me get a smaller brush. And we're going to do some different strokes with this. Da -da -da. Let me grab my cleaner. This is an old pool cleaner or filter somebody was throwing out. This is awesome. Take one of these. Throw soap in the bottom of it. Use this to scrub your brushes. Love it. It's my friend. And it cleans a lot of my brushes. Okay, I'm gonna take that uh I'm gonna take that color and let me look at it. We're gonna go full strength on the ear, because that's a pretty nondescript place. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it's, it's an all right color. All right. So what we're going to do is, remember this right here is going to be our, our highlight. This is our shadow. So, mm, I guess we're going to take this as a shadow. So I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to build up with it. There's my shadow. And it's going to go that way. Now remember, this is going to be kind of in shadow. This is, this is kind of where her her um, occipital orbit's going to be <laughs> basically the bone around that hard bone around your eyeball. So that's going to kind of have some brightness to it. So we're going to, you know, we'll go over that with a full, full um, strength color instead of just piecing it out like I'm doing. The reason we're, I'm doing that is because I'm not liking how it's kind of intermittent. So, coming back through with this. There's our dark right there. And it's going to come through here like that. Be dark. Okay, under here is going to be more of a, I think we're going to go with a bluer tint, I think. So, we've got our flesh color. What we're going to do is I'm going to take some brilliant blue. I'm going to add a little brilliant blue to it. Not so much that it's like, oh my god, blue, and it looks like she's been beat up, but just... Let's see if we can work it out. Got to move some things. And I honestly cannot tell you the formula for it, but it's just a, I'm graying down my color here. See, it's just gray now. It's a blue gray. That's going to be our, our beautiful shadows. And as everybody has pointed out, she looks Polynesian, Indian, or Native American, or um, what else did they say? I had a couple of them. Either way, so... There we go. We're keeping those. Those are our, oh, right under here. There we go. 
like that. And that's... Bring, bring it up around. I know it's, it's a little in your face right now. But... There's our darks, I think. Oh, don't forget this right here. That's our darks. Now we can take our beautiful. <laughs> I laugh because I, like I said, I'm not thrilled with it. So I'm going to try very hard not to. There we go. Makes. I added that in. Now I'm going to add some. I'm going to add some white. And there it is. Okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is all an experiment for me. Because I'm I have not used system three since good lord since I first started painting and that was a gazillion years ago and I went to Dick Flick the outlet store in Galesburg and they had a huge system 3 it looked like a paint can with tons of system 3 paints and I was so excited and <laughs> I think I've had that for like two years. There we go. Let's see if I can. But since then, I've actually graduated into Liquitex and the other colors that you use. There we go. Mm -hmm. See how that looks. She's starting to take shape, and I'm thankful because I was starting to get worried. I do. I get worried on my paintings because sometimes they don't turn out, and that that may make a lot of you laugh, but still, I still have paintings. <laughs> And I go, oh, that is so ugly. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> and, okay, I'm going to... I'm not trying to nullify those shadows. I'm with those shadows there. But by putting this, this flesh color over it, it looks, it doesn't look like it's sitting on top. It looks like it's part of her. Okay, and we're going to get some more of that color here. And notice I'm using quite a bit right at this point. There we go. And now I'm going to take some white. The white I'm using is a Liquitex white. Again, because I absolutely love Liquitex. It goes further. It's in many ways, it's just seamless. I don't have to put on like 10,000 coats for things. It's just much more fun. Okay. There we go. I don't want to lose her smile. So. We'll have to put that back in. As I, as I said, several places, um, I used a paint pen to uh, get these lines. So when I come back through, I'll have to straighten up the lines with my paint pen. Um, you can use um, a wiggler or a liner brush. I'm not that. I don't feel that secure with my my lining. So there she is. Okay. 
okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting happier with her. I'm liking her better. <laughs> I know. Here we go. We go down. I gotta add more here. And we're just. The darkest is going to be near those plants. And then we're going to have highlights like right here. Now. make sure that highlights there. You may have to darken that. If your highlight is not showing up, guess what? You need to darken. That's if your lights, if you're not seeing your highlights, then darken it. We're going to come through and we're going to darken it again, believe it or not. So I'm not terribly worried about it. Look at how beautiful that is. That is starting to warm up to us. Now, the other color, I'm going to take a little bit of crimson. Just a little bit. And I do mean a little bit. Crimson's one of those colors that can either make or break. And I am just taking the corner of my brush with the rest of it having all that flesh color. So, let me see. There we go. We might take a little bit more. Okay. There you go. I want it to be a pink version of that flesh color. Why? Because we're going to come through right here. Can you see how it's not terribly different, but it is different enough that you can see it. You're, there's no mistaking it. I'm going to just smooth it out with my brush here. Then I'm going to come through right here. Like I was blushing her. Here we go. I'm going to come through and blush that. That works. I like it. I don't think it's completely uneven, so I'm going to Bring it along here, on the tip of her nose, on that, right there. We're going to bring it this way. Then I'm going to just gently blend it in here. I want it to be blended a little more. There we go. And right here definitely right here see how it's a little redder redder <laughs> sounds funny it could be because I'm tired and it's late for me I get up way too early there we go and I know I'll wipe it off there that isn't bad but the problem is, around your mouth, around your eyes, guess what? It's not a red because the blood's gone, or the blood's very close to the surface. It's more of a blue color. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that brilliant blue and I'm going to add some white to it. And I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to make that a little more blue underneath. And I'm going to take and make that same blue right here. There we go. I know, you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, we're losing so much. We're not losing anything. We'll find it. Okay, we're just making sure it's more white than it is blue. But we want to be able to see it. So we're going to put some right along here. Just, we're not trying to give her a Bernie, Bernie Rebel. We don't want it to look like five o'clock shadow. We just want it to be there. Okay, something like that. 
Now I'm going to take my light again. I'm going to bring it back through here. There we go, there we go. Because when we come back, we're going to make this, this part of her nose, we're going to make it glow. How do you make it glow? Well, the easy part is what colors make things glow? Well, usually yellow. Yellow makes things just pop out at you. But when we're talking with um, like this, we look at the colors. What colors are we using? This flesh is a grayed orange. That's all it is. That's all it, that's all the flesh color is. It's a grayed orange. Gray, orange. <laughs> um, so, what's, I think we will try the purple, or not purple, I, we will try the yellow. So we're going to go with a brilliant yellow, something like, oh my god, yellow. That would be a cadmium yellow. I'm going to go medium hue instead of the um, just cadmium yellow. Because that's knock your socks off yellow. Now I'm going to add just a touch of that to white. Just a touch, just a touch. And we're going to go look at how... Let's see how that makes her look. There we go. It's brightening her up, isn't it? There we go. And see, it's so funny because the camera picks up yellow so much different than I do in person. So we're going to have to check it out in a second. And this is part of her right here. This is actually part of her right there, and so is right here. So we're going to put some flesh color in there, and we're going to bring more flesh color this way. So, that way we can see it all. I'm not digging how, I, I like the brightness, but I'm going to color over it. <laughs> I like it, but I don't like it that much. I don't like it that bright. I think the color shift is too much. I think the value difference is too much. So I'm just coloring over it with this. Toning it down slightly. I want I do want some bright like right up in through there. That's this has to be a little darker, I think. Okay, I'm going to look and see how it looks to you. Because... Wow, it is so super, oops, super de duper light on, according to you, and it's so dark in this room. It cracks me up. Now, the one thing that's so light is right here, according to the the film, which is crazy. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Not like I said, a lot of that's really light when you're looking at it. 
and in person it's not that light let's see if we can see it a little better mm, not too much but either way we've got a couple of minutes so I don't want to start too much so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my uh, Payne's Gray just at this moment. I'm going to recapture some of those awesome little um, lines that I have misplaced. And you may have to do this often because you don't want to lose where the eyes are, where the uh, lashes are. So I just wet my brush slightly and I'm using Payne's Gray. There we go. It's just basically a stylized triangle. But then we can pull it down a little that way. Now the eyebrows are not too bad. And we can bring out our smile again. I like the smile. I want her to smile. <laughs> and I may do that with the pen, because if I don't trust myself. No. I'm going to increase the size of her nose a little bit, because I think it's actually too small. And if I don't like that, I can always give her a nose ring. There we go. So anytime you're worried about whether or not you're, you're too much on one spot, just go ahead and let me take a little bit of that red and flesh color. I'm just going to come around and I'm going to follow that like this. Kind of give you more of a definition to the nose. And I'm going to take that cad yellow medium and that crimson. I'm going to get it on um, an orange. I'm going to come up through here and just... There we go. I'm taking that same orange that I just used there putting it there. I guess I could take that same orange and add just a touch of flesh color to it. Okay, and we're going to come through right there. And we're going to color the bottom of this. And right up here. I need a little more red. With that orangey red. Notice it's not terribly far from the flesh color. That's okay. We like that. Then we're going to add the red right here. See, we left a little bit of that flesh color coming through. 